Good day, guys. Being here. Um, today we're going to model the this um, the, uh, this structure. So it will be something similar to this. Okay. So let's start. So first, um, um, I I like to use structure um, structure elements to model these. So Column, beam, and this can be can be uh, beam as well, and yeah. So that that that's it. Um, so let's start. So first, let's create a project. Okay. So um, to model this, um, it's good to uh, first uh, you. It's 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 easier to ha uh, to have some grids. Okay, so so let's uh, let's say maybe three meter, three by three, maybe. So I'm just going to so you can copy them, or you can use array. I'll just use array. Okay, so uh, maybe eight. Oops, sorry. Control Z. Three meter <laughs> and eight. So now we have eight grids this direction, and I create another one. So um, maybe I will name it A and array it and eight as well. So now let's select them and ungroup. So now we have all these grids. Maybe I'll dra drag this to so make sure they intersect uh, each other. So um. Yeah, not sure um, if there's a, like a standard for number or letters, but yeah, if there is, please please let me know. Okay, so um, maybe we don't need these elevations. Let me just delete them. Okay, so um, first we need to load this column. Okay, so let's go structure column. So currently, there's only a UC, a steel column. So let's load family. Go to your uh, Autodesk uh, content library. So it's under structure column. Okay, so uh, wood. Um, um, I think this one should work. Okay, so let's pick this one. And okay, so we need to choose the size. Um, maybe I'll just pick this one first and then. We can create a new because this one looks like it's quite um, wi wide. Uh, let's make it twenty by twenty, maybe. So let's call it two hundred by oh sorry, two hundred by two hundred, not twenty by twenty. So, and then two hundred by two hundred. So finish. Now we can use add grids and select all these grids and finish. So now let's go to three D view. You can see we uh, it will revit automatically place all the columns at the intersection of the grids. So um, I'm going to change this one to uh, maybe 3 meter and uh, base at 0. So it's from uh, floor level up to uh, maybe we can change, we can give it uh, set this to level 1 with 0 offset. OK, so these are the columns. OK, so the next step is we need to place some uh, beam okay between the between the columns so I imagine that's being also in this direction as well so okay so let's first load a uh, timber beam so currently nope load family go back back it's uh, under structure framing so wood um, not sure which one to use maybe this one okay and choose the size um maybe maybe this this one okay so now um you can also use on grids but we need to go to the floor plan okay so go uh, beam click on this on grids select all these grids finish so now if we go back into 3d view you will see automatically uh revit create all these beams on grids so they need to be adjust uh, so i'll use sa select all change this one to uh, uh hang on. 
maybe you can just set the level so set the work plan so edit work plan and set it to level one so level one with zero offset so that's uh where um it should be <laughs> okay so good and then we the next step is we can uh, place this um diagonal beam okay so let's do it uh, beam i'm going to just use this one okay so what you can do is you can check this uh, 3d snapping so and then you can place you can pick any 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 um uh any l any uh, point <laughs> on this um, column and then you can also pick this beam so you can see you can pick this uh, on this beam so once you uh you, you place this um and you can still so for this one for example this one so you can change the height so this is here so level from the floor level so for example uh if you look at this one this is quite low i guess that's um uh, there's no people here uh yeah it's a little bit hard to tell the act the actual height without any um referencing so that's a that's a person there so it looks like uh that if that's 1.8 it's roughly 1.5 so okay so that's 1.5 uh yeah it's close so i'll just type in 1.5 and then you can also adjust this one on this beam so i think this one looks okay yeah so maybe we need to go close maybe this here okay so this is it and then what we can do is um we can click on the top so we can use array ar and use this uh radio space pick the midpoint the center point of this column and 90 degree topping four and let's go have a look so one two three four okay so now we have some issue here so you can see here so um, it's this overlapping and this one i need to need to extend so you can type in here so uh, start drawing cut back or you can just drag this handle but the issue we have is um we need to trim this so uh, in structure we have this not we can do this but if we finish so you will see it will not apply this on these so you can it doesn't work which means you need, if you want to um, to use this you need to do it to each one to every single one okay oops wrong one so this 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 so this is a lot of work even if um, because let me just show you if i sa select all these four and if i array this up oh sorry use this uh, linear uh, array here to here and maybe i'll just i'll just uh, give it five and you will see it won't see so although this one's perfect but this one so you still need to do this so it's not um very efficient so um not perfect um so what i'm going to show you is instead of a use notch let's do this so edit this group and select one of this and edit group again so now we can use this we can use go uh, we can go to architecture by face we can use by face opening opening by face to cut this cut this beam so so first we need to uh, pick a work plan so you can see this is either this one or tab this one so we need to pick this one and then we can pick this line this this uh this um the edge of this beam and then we just need to draw a closed shape and we can cut away this part and we can do the same to this end so architecture opening by um, face pick this uh, beam and and just draw 
draw a closed shape SE and finish it. So now you can see this beam uh, has been cut. Okay, so and then if I finish this one, this will, will apply this one to one, two, three in this array, radial array. And I click OK. And also it will apply to all these uh, linear array as well. Okay, so this is an um, easier way to, you can see it's all perfect. And then let's just, uh, what we need to do is uh, move this array. So select two of them, MV, uh, three meter to here. Okay, so let's click, uh, let's just remove now, chain. don't need it. And five, six, seven, eight, let's just type in eight. Okay, and then well, we can just array SA, array this direction, so uh, three meter. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we need eight. Yeah, that's uh, 400, 300 something. So it will take some time. Click OK and select all and just move them back by 3 meter. And OK. And I think this is it. So this is um, the timber part okay so let's have a look oh good column beam and this diagonal structure okay so um, if if we need to change the height or you know how can we do it so let's try so for example i want to adjust this level one to um 4500 and the beam will follow uh, the column uh, i'm not sure uh yeah looks like they will follow because we set this at level one so when we change the level one that's all good and then we just need to adjust this okay so because when we when we draw this one we just draw snap onto that and the top i think at the top it's probably using the uh, ground floor with offset so let's have a look edit group edit group and then edit group so select this beam so you will see this is uh, um, in the level of offset is four meter from level zero so what we can do is we can just um, just drag this onto the onto onto this uh, this beam. Uh, hang on, let me just rotate it a little bit. We can drag this onto this, and and I think that this is oh, and also here looks like we need to edit and then try to align this. Oops, doesn't work. Uh, that's fine. We can maybe pick this and trim and finish. Yeah, and that's better. So finish, and so this will apply to this radio uh, radio um, array, and then apply to a linear array that direction, and then uh, and this direction as well. So yeah, okay, two hundred sixty instance. So. That's not not too many. Okay, so almost there. Come on, come on, quick. Okay, finish. So now you can see all these beams. Perfect. And this is it. So this is the first part of this um, exercise. And the next exercise, uh, so, so the, the next part, we're going to have a look at um, this uh, footing, so the little connection. So see um, if we can find some easy, easy method to uh, place them, not only to model it, but also to place on, in, on, onto the 
column. Okay, so that's uh, for today, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you t um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs>